Hey you doing guys, Zera here. So today I wanted to have a little bit of a conversation and give you my thoughts on the Callisto protocol. Now, I will be quite honest and upfront. I never was particularly interested and, uh, and it's the same case now even uh, with the horror aspect in video games. Now, you know, if there's a small degree of horror in, in it, it's not a problem. But if the element is all about horror and horror, that's it. No, 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 no. It's not for me. Now, <laughs> the Callisto Protocol might be going towards more of a horror aspect, and I'm not exactly fond of that. But as you can see by the title of this video, I'm saying that should I try it? That's the question. You know, after watching so many gameplays, so many trailers for the Callisto Protocol, I am so bloody intrigued with this game, especially now that uh, the Callisto Protocol will not be coming out in Japan because it's, you know, they wanted to censor it, you know, the Japanese law and stuff like that. And, you know, they just decided, nope, we're just simply not selling this game in Japan in this case. And it's just kind of intrigued me because of this as well. You know, how bad is the game? And of course, Japan, like, they have their own very, very strict law in video games and stuff like that. So it's not exactly to say that, you know, everything that they are doing within this game is so like too much that it, they had to censor it because japan they're overly sensitive in a lot of cases and of course and of course a lot of games have been censored for no apparent reasons as well and perhaps not even warranting a censorship at all in this case while i'm looking at the gameplay it does look like you know very very much on the front of being so brutal that Maybe a lot of people are simply not going to pick up this game even though they like third person aspect of the game and with the shooting uh, shooting elements with action, uh, like a little bit of adventure in here, you know, exploration a tiny bit as well. Of course, not as if it's tiny, obviously you are seeing this sh spaceship and stuff like that in the prison, I should say, not spaceship. And of course, it's going to be interesting to have that kind of adventure and the sense of, you know, of horror and what to expect out of this game. And you know what? I think this does look good. But because of me and because of me alone, right, I am never was, I never was a part of this horror aspect in video games. I could never really get into them properly. Now, again, you know, some of you may be asking question, well, for example, uh, like, do you like uh, Resident Evil games? And I do, I really do. I like the remakes as well, but something about it still gives me a little bit kind of, um, how can I say it? Not the scary vibe but kind of awkwardness that I may not like. Or perhaps it's just like I'm always on the fence of picking this particular game up because, because of the horror aspect. Now I'm sure a lot of you say like, okay, for whatever, don't pick up this game. Or perhaps if you're too scared or some shit like people like to say, then like why are you even playing these horror aspects of video games? But that's just it. That's just it. You know, I'm not like I'm scared of it, but I find it kind of... Um, off-putting if that's the correct word right like it's not like i'm terrified with horror games obviously like i said i even got platinum trophies for like resident evil 2 3 uh the the biohazard the resident evil 7 and also resident evil village included and of course you know a lot of you will say like okay well that's not exactly pure horror elements like you know it has but you know i think differently because it literally has all of it like it actually has plenty of horror aspects in it and of course you know if you've been uh, you know playing and watching perhaps some cutscenes or whatnot for resident uh, evil village there's some like a baby moment that man that frightens the hell out of your doll moment that really does frighten it a lot of cases a lot of people too myself included as well like i was like a little grotesque about it i was like oh my god like i you know like there's too much perhaps in some cases right you just have to say that or maybe you have to turn away maybe you don't want to look at that moment or even not uh, listen to this like grotesque moments that's going on within the game but because of the Callisto protocol it does a little bit differently of course it has more elements of action in it and I'm really intrigued by it as well like I looked it looks really really good it's coming out in, uh, like coming out like one few weeks and it's just gonna be awesome and I'm still kind of questioning it if I would, would like to pick this game up or not it does look very good though oh perhaps a lot of you may be asking a question as well did you play or perhaps uh, what did you think about Dead Space? Because Dead Space, in my opinion, like, I don't believe it's actually first element of Dead Space is horror, right? I don't think that is the case. I think that uh, even this included Callisto Protocol 
kind of adventure going through this prison and basically having an action like moments within this game is the way that this game is tries to go about and horror aspects is just more of a kind of a selling point and I'm not I'm not I'm not saying this as if like it's a negative I'm not look I actually like what I see that's what I'm talking about that's why I'm bringing into this topic and I want to get this game because I like what I'm seeing it and you know if it does have this and I will end up liking it so much so that perhaps dead space levels of like oh man this is pretty good I will be all about this like dead space for me like like I played it, I finished it, but I never particularly came back to it just that I would, um, you know, I love the game so much I have to replay it or get higher difficulties or play it on platinum trophy or whatnot. It was never that, it definitely wasn't. And this is the same case it probably would be for me with Dead Space Remake as well. The Callisto Protocol does do things a little bit unique, more different perhaps, but I can't say exactly if it's really how can I say, really for me, right? I'm sure a lot of you will be saying, okay, then don't pick it, don't pick this game up. But again, I'm bringing up this question. I'm still very curious about this game and I hope it actually lives up to kind of maybe my expectations for it, right? I don't mind the enemies being grotesque. I don't mind monsters. I don't mind the horror elements in it. Uh, but it depends how far they take that horror element, right? Like I said before, I don't mind that, but again, it depends how far they take it. Now, I hate the fact in video games, I just hate this, jump scare moments. I do not like them. It's stupid, it's just a cheap gimmicky way of scaring you, and it's just done not right. And the Callisto Protocol, I'm sure it's going to have at least one or two, perhaps even if not more, these jump scares. In particular, they are like would be jump scares. And I don't like that. It really just like it kind of not interests me. But also because there's a horror element and because there's like action and like elements within this game, the story as well. Like I love the characters. I love everything about this game that so far has been introduced and that so far has been showcased, talked about, interviewed and you know, with the questions and answers. It's still going to be looking like an, uh, an adventure to experience, at least for me. But I'm still also on a fence and torn about picking this game up or not. But either way, you know, come closer to its release in December, I'm still going to be making that decision if I would like to pick this game up or not, even though I'm not yet fully convinced. I'm not saying as if this game is going to be bad. Definitely not saying that. But I am saying that this game could be something special. This game could be uh, that could not kind of gets me into the more horror aspect of this video games anyway. And I am definitely will be looking forward to that. But of course, it is a way to see kind of aspect. And it does look good. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to um, doubt that fact. It does look like my type of game that I definitely will be perhaps interested in. Uh, but you know Resident Evil games like I said for me personally they're always I was always on the fence with them But I still played them. That's just the thing. I still played them Either way guys do let me know what you think about the Callisto protocol Are you perhaps feeling the same as I am or perhaps maybe I'm just overthinking this Maybe I just like need to take it need to take it easy and I'll be good with this uh, With this game and you know have an adventure of my lifetime and experience this game as it was intended of course And just not think about too much about it Okay, well, like and subscribe, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.